and welcome to this edition of Behind the Badge. I'm Christy Kaler, Public Information Officer for the Harford County Sheriff's Office. A fun summer is a safe summer, and we'll show you how to make sure that you have both of those things covered this year. Our bike safety tips will get you and your bike ready to roll this summer, and our information on distracted driving will help keep your mind on the road and your hands on the wheel. We'll even help you keep Fido safe in the car, too, along with some good reasons to microchip your pet so they can be returned safely and happily. We'll pass along some valuable tips on keeping your children safe, especially during those crowded summer events and festivities. And we'll check in on some of the programs at the Hartford County Detention Center that help inmates prepare to rejoin the wider Hartford County community once they're released. But first, when you and your family are headed off on vacation this summer, make sure you don't advertise that to the wrong people. Let's check in with Deputy First Class Marco Baresi when some tips on keeping you and your house safe and secure while you're away. Each year, nearly two million Americans go on summer vacations, and that doesn't go unnoticed by thieves. Hi, my name is Marco Baresi with the Harvard County Sheriff's Office Community Policing Unit, and I'm here to talk to you about what to do and what not to do when it comes to summer vacations. You want to let your neighbors know when you're going to return from vacation, just so they know when to expect you. You want to inform the local police department just in case an emergency happens and they know you're not home. It's not a bad idea to let the post office know just to make sure your mail doesn't pile up inside your mailbox, just to give that idea that nobody's home. You want to make sure you keep your house looking like somebody's still living here. It's not a bad idea to put a light on a timer so that way you can control when the light comes on. One more thing you want to think about is keeping the grass nice and short. And if you're going to be gone for more than one week, have a friend or a family member come and cut it for you. Another thing to consider is, if you're going to get a newspaper or you have sun delivered to your home, don't let it stack up at the door. Either cancel it while you're gone or have somebody come and get it for you. If you have access to a safe or have one in the home, you want to make sure you put your valuables in it. If you don't, leave them with a family member or a friend or go to a bank and you can get a safe deposit box. Remember, you want to keep your vacation private, so you want to try not to post anything on Facebook or any type of social media just until you get home. Other than that, have a safe vacation. Summer is a time for celebrations, festivals, and fairs, and also a time when children can get lost in the crowd or run into trouble at a public place. Here's Deputy First Class Khalid Mitchell with a safety checklist for the little ones. It's always important to keep an eye on your kids, especially in the summer when they're out of school and all over the place. Hi, my name is Khalid Mitchell, and I'm a school police officer with the Harford County Sheriff's Office. And here are some tips in keeping your kids safe in public places so we all can enjoy a safe and happy summer. Even before you arrive at your destination, you want to go over with your child scenarios just in case they run into a bad guy, and you might play the bad guy. So you might ask the child, what are you to do if the bad guy asks you to go with them? And then you have them answer. That always works. And once you arrive at your destination, you want to show your child safe places to go if you get separated with them. Places like a pavilion, or a guard shack, or even a tourist informational booth. A good idea when you're taking your child to a public place is to dress them in bright colors. Orange, green, highlighter yellow. This makes it easy to locate them if they get separated from you. Another idea is to put a wristband on them with the parent's name and phone number on there in case somebody finds them separated from you, they can contact you easily. And a final tip is to purchase a commercial locator wristband or ankle bracelet. These enable your cellular device to locate the child if he becomes separated from you within yards. Another tip, and I believe this is the most important tip, is to explain to your child never to walk away with a stranger or never get in a vehicle with someone you do not know. If you remember these tips, you will have a safe and happy summer. Only one TV station keeps it local, Harford Cable Network. We produce programming important to Harford County, both on location and in our studio. Look for us on social media. Watch our shows anytime on VOD. I love sending prospective students to their video on demand site to watch our concerts. It's so convenient. 
Our award-winning network is devoted to serving the community and supporting local organizations. Hartford Cable Network promotes nonprofits in our community by producing professional public service announcements that get results. We build relationships that last. Our partnership with HCN to produce Kaleidoscope is important to helping us promote the arts. How can we support your cause? Harford County is watching Harford Cable Network. Every time our video airs, we receive an overwhelming response. Thanks, HCN, for supporting the nonprofit community. Welcome back to Behind the Badge. Whether you're headed off on vacation in your vehicle or just taking advantage of longer days to catch up on errands, there are a lot more cars on the roads in the summertime, and our busy lives can make those road trips dangerous. Here's how you can avoid being a victim of distracted driving. The world is an interesting place. There are a lot of things out there competing for our attention, even while we're driving. Hello, I'm Deputy Max Schuler with the Hartford County Sheriff's Office Traffic Unit. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about distracted driving. One of the biggest distractions on the road today would be using your cell phone. Whether it's texting and driving, talking on your cell phone, what you're doing is you're looking at your cell phone instead of looking at the road. So it's taking your eyes off of the road, you're not looking at traffic signals, and what you're doing is you're creating a hazardous situation, not only for yourself, but for the other drivers out there. There are many other distractions out there, like doing makeup, combing our hair, having something to eat while we're driving, adjusting the radio, or even reading. These are all things that take our mind off of what we should be doing in the car. By eliminating distractions while we're driving, we can all help make Harford County a safer place for everyone. We have a responsibility to keep our families and friends safe while we're driving, but we also have to keep our pets safe if we take them along with us in our vehicles. Here's some ideas to help keep your furry friends safe when our cars heat up in the summer sun. There's nothing that Jinx likes better than hopping in a car and going for an adventure. The problem is this car can be a very dangerous place. Hi, I'm DFC Marty Hopper with the Harper County Sheriff's Office Canine Unit, and I'm here to give you some life-saving tips for taking your dog for a ride in a car. You may not realize it, but your car can get really hot really fast in the summertime with temperatures exceeding 100 degrees. Temperatures like this could cause your pet to suffer heat stroke, dehydration, or possibly die. If you notice that your dog is excessively panting or vomiting, take him out to a cool place or give him a drink of water. If we as law enforcement notice your dog in distress, we can charge you with a citation or you can be charged with animal cruelty. That's a good boy. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. The Harvard County Sheriff's Office Animal Control Unit wants to help keep your pets safe. All officers are now equipped with a new tool to help if Fido wanders off. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Officer Shelley Smith with the Harford County Sheriff's Office Animal Control Unit, and I'm here to talk to you about the importance of microchipping your pets. All animal control officers in the unit are equipped with microchip scanners. The way they work is once we pick up a pet, we scan the pet, and it tells us the microchip number and who it's registered to. The reason it's so important to microchip your pet, once we pick up your pet and scan him or her, we can get him home to you quickly and safely without having to transport to the shelter and putting them through the stress of a shelter environment. It also saves you an impound fee at the shelter. There is no fee for us to return the pet. However, if any co county codes have been violated, you may be cited. In the first few months of the program, we've returned about 10 pets to their owners quickly and safely, and in one incident, I returned a pet to its owner before the owner even knew that he was missing. Uh, please see your local veterinarian for any information on microchipping. Any veterinarian can microchip your pet.
growing up, you know, we were the typical family. We were close at three younger sisters, and, and I was the oldest. Hannah was the youngest. Uh, ten years difference between us. And, you know, we never, none of us ever expected it to end up the way it did. I never would have imagined or suspected that our family would end up where we are today. Yeah, the drug counselor read the test results, uh, called us on the phone. She's got fatal levels of opiates in her body. Uh, we immediately got her into a program. What's so awful about the drugs is that you have no idea where it may take you. I would do anything in the world to just have like one more minute with her, just to hug her and see her smile again. I loved her so much. Heroin is stronger than anything, and it was, take, it was becoming stronger than love at that point. Welcome back to Behind the Badge. Bike riding has all sorts of health benefits, both physical and mental. But in order to reap those benefits, you have to make sure you and your bicycle are ready to roll. Bicycle riding is fun, healthy, and a great way to be independent. But we have to remember, it's not a toy. Hi, I'm Senior Deputy Robert Kovacs with the Harford County Sheriff's Office. Let's talk about bike safety. Before you hit the road, let's make sure you and your bike are ready to roll. If you're under 16 years old, you have to wear a helmet. It's the law. If you're older, it's a good idea anyway. Let's make sure that you've got a light if you're driving at night or at dusk. Your brakes, make sure that they're going to stop you in case of an emergency. And let's make sure that your tires are properly inflated. Once you're on the road, remember, you're a vehicle and you must obey all traffic laws. When turning, use your hand signals. Right, left, and stop. On the road, stay as far over to the right as safely possible to allow motor vehicles to pass by. And when driving on sidewalks, you may want to check with your local jurisdiction to make sure it's permitted. Now that we know how to ride safely, let's have some fun. Let's head over now to the Harford County Detention Center to find out about the programs and services available to inmates that help them prepare for life after incarceration. Here at the Harford County Detention Center, we're committed to helping our inmates rejoin the wider Harford County community. Hi, I'm Caitlin Borig and I'm the program coordinator here at the Harford County Detention Center. Let's take a look at some of the work and treatment programs that this facility has to offer to help our inmates be more successful upon their release. Here in the library, inmates can participate in weekly book exchange where they can choose a book of their liking. They can also research items pertaining to their case. Inmates also have the ability to work here, which entails stamping books and stocking shelves. Here in our classrooms, inmates can participate in a wide array of programs. This includes GED and educational classes, drug awareness and treatment programs, religious services, and work opportunities. This is one of the many rec yards here at this facility. Here, inmates can participate in basketball or exercise on gym equipment. They also have access to a daily fitness routine. These are the kinds of enrichment programs that help our inmates stay active and healthy so they can reintegrate back into the Harford County community. Let's check in now on our cold case file. Sheriff's deputies need your help to identify the suspect or suspects in connection with the homicide of Thomas Richard Anderson, who was murdered in his home on Trap Road in Street, Maryland on August 4, 2014. If you have any information about his death or those responsible, submit a tip online, send a text message to Metro Crime Stoppers, or call the Harford County Crime Solvers. And finally, here's a shout out to two of our deputies who consistently go beyond the badge in service to the citizens of Harford County. Senior Deputy Wilbert Adams and Deputy First Class Lisa Raymond were both recognized recently as Deputies of the Year. Senior Deputy Adams is one of the highest performing members of the agency and has been recognized as one of the top 10 deputies for traffic enforcement. Deputy First Class Raymond is being honored for her work ethic, dedication, and commitment to her duties as a valuable member of the Harford County Detention Center. Thanks for joining us today on Behind the Badge. We hope you have a safe and happy summer and enjoy the warm weather in the early fall. 
We have lots more to share with you about who we are and what we do and how we keep you and your family safe here in Harford County. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram for more information about our agency in between episodes. Until next time, for Behind the Badge, I'm Christy Kaler. <music>